welcome to the Sunday show on Team Wild TV. It's been another crazy week here at Team Wild TV, with Ian Harford preparing for his five week trip around the US in an RV. But you guys at home are going to hear more of that in the coming weeks. But I think you'll agree, it's been another week of amazing shows on Team Wild TV. On Monday's Realtree Global Hunting, our very own Ian Harford showed you how to dramatically miss a muntjac. On Tuesday's gear show, I took a closer look at the amazing Gun Boss cleaning kit. On Wednesday's Carnivore series, Steve Wilde showed you how he field dressed and carcass checked a seeker deer. On Thursday's Varminators, Wildy and myself are on another rough shoot, and once again, I'm beating. Friday was Team Wild Academy, and Turkey legend Steve Hickoff taught Ian how to use a box call. Saturday's Air Power saw Ian in Texas hunting rabbits at night with a day state Wolverine. So that was last week's shows and another cracking lineup, I think you'll agree. Now, last week we showed you guys some of the cool stuff at the Ewa show in Germany, as me and Ian had a walk around the Ruag factory and fired some guns. But that wasn't all. We had even more fun with some even more amazing guns. Check this out. We're here at the Ruag factory in Nuremberg for the Ewa show. But this isn't part of the show. This is the first ever range day they've had here. And as you can hear, people are shooting and having some fun. So I've got ear protection and I've got safety glasses and I'm gonna get involved. This is a 500 meter range where well, we'll be shooting the new six millimeter caliber plus a 50 cal BMG sniper rifle. This is known as shooting a 50 cal. Keep it up first, and then I'm going to nail him. So this is this is Keith Anderson, and this is me. So that is terribly awful, and this is worse still. <laughs> so keep keep on this round. Don't get used to it, fella. And in here is the outdoor 300 meter range, where we'll be testing the brand new Sauer 101 bolt action rifle. I think they're all over the place. I'll be honest with you. And as you can see on the table in front of me is a selection of the different types and calibers of ammunition and pellets made here at the RWS factory. And this plastic gel here shows you exactly what happens at the target when your bullet finally strikes. That's some pretty impressive damage. So now we've come to the fun part of it. Now we get to have a go with assault rifles, pistols, submachine guns and just general bad nasty stuff. Very Team Wild. Sorry you're not here Wildy. This is for all the douchebags out there. Fuck. Oh. 
So we've had a great day here at the AWS factory. Yeah, uh, thanks guys very much. And Sal, we've shot loads of guns, we've shot loads of ammunition. We've just had a great time. So, so thank you very much. Actually, you shot way too many. I never expected that company to run out of ammunition, but you made it. So it's time to leave, Ian. Thank you for stopping by and never come back. Okay, thank you very much. I'm already itching to get back to Ewa next year and get down on those range and have a go with those guns. But whilst I'm dreaming the next 12 months away, why don't you guys have a look at what's coming up on next week's shows. On Monday's Realtree Global Hunting, Joshua White of L3 Outdoors is hunting feral hogs at night. On Tuesday's gear show, we take an in-depth look of everything cool from the Ewa show. On Wednesday's Carnivore, Steve Wilde follows on from last week and shows you how to skin a seeker deer. Thursday's Apex Predator, Mr H is back in Hungary hunting a beautiful red stag. Friday's Team Wild Academy show looks at part five of the Hornady reloading series. Saturday's Air Power sees Ian Harford back in Texas hunting a beautiful Texas style sheep with the Benjamin Road. So as you see, it's going to be another interesting week with Team Wild TV and we've got loads more cool and interesting stuff to bring you. So stay tuned to find out what we've been up to.